Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I wanted to do a brief video um, comparing the normal distribution with the t-distribution. And I want to talk about the similarities and the differences. Both are bell-shaped. Both are symmetrical around the mean. You can see in this graph the standard normal distribution, which is the z-distribution, has this shape that you've come to know. And the t-distribution is down here, with, it's not as high of a bump, but it still has a bell shape and it's still symmetrical around the mean. The mean, median, and mode all are equal to zero in both. This is similarity column here. And they're all located at the center of the distribution. And the curve never touches the x-axis. So those are all things that are the same between a t-distribution and a z-distribution. But a t-distribution uh, has a variance that's greater than one. And the t-distribution shape is different for different sample sizes. T-distribution is actually a series of different curves, whereas the normal distribution is one curve. And so you can see here, maybe you can't see, it's kind of small. But if we look at the standard normal um, distribution, that's this sort of uh, turquoise line that's above the top here. And if you had one degree of freedom, a sample size of two, you can see how different your t-shape would be. But if you had five degrees of freedom, you can see how that's starting to move up and it's a different graph for different, every one is different for the, the sample size and the degrees of freedom that you have cause you to get a different graph for each one of those. And if you get up to 30, you can't hardly even see the purple one because the purple one is pretty much matching that. So once you get to a uh, sample size of 30, you're really talking about the same shape. As the sample size increases, the t-distribution approaches the standard normal distribution. That's what we're trying to show you with this picture. And the t-distribution has more probability in the tails. That's a difference, too. There's a little more probability in the tails with the t-distribution. All right. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you next time.